The Royal Baby's Big Red Bus, Tour of London, by Martha Mumford, Bloomsbury, illustrated by Ada Gray. The Royal Baby's Big Red Bus, Tour of London. It was a beautiful summer's day and the royal family was taking a well-earned rest. The royal baby prince and princess splashed around gleefully in the royal paddling pool, which was a little bigger than your average sized pool. And everything was calm and peaceful until Beep, beep, beep! The palace gates opened and a big red bus rolled up the long driveway. All aboard for the big red bus tour of London, called the driver. Perfect timing, they all said to driver James. Well, come on everyone, what are you waiting for? All aboard, let's have a right royal fun day out. Cook, called the royal baby's auntie. We need some hampers as quickly as you can. Nanny Rose, can you bring royal baby princess dinosaur and royal baby princess's fluffy bunny? We can't live without them, said the duchess. Can someone bring my binoculars, said the duke. Finally, everyone and everything was on board. Dingling, 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 they were off. Diggling first stop, the Natural History Museum, called Driver James. Royal baby prince couldn't believe it. He loved dinosaurs. Look at all these bones, said the Duke. They're millions of years old. Rawr! I'm a T-Rex, roared the royal baby prince right in his baby sister's face, which she didn't like one little bit. ding -a -ling. The big red bus was off again and the next stop was ZSL London Zoo. The meerkats made the royal baby princess laugh. And everyone agreed the funniest creatures were the penguins at Penguin Beach. After a delicious picnic lunch in Regent's Park, it was time for the big red bus to roll again, all the way to... ding -ling! The British Museum. You can learn all sorts of interesting things about history here, said the royal baby's granddad. The royal baby prince, however, was far more interested in the colouring in and so was the royal baby princess. Beep, beep! The big red bus rolled past the National Park Diary, Trafalgar Square and Nelson's Column. Before driver James said, Everybody off! It's time for my break! So they decided on a different way to travel. A water taxi on the River Thames. They saw the Houses of Parliament, bang, listened to Big Ben, spouted St. Paul's Cathedral and the Tower of London, and even sailed right under Tower Bridge. Soon they were in Greenwich to see the Royal Observatory and the Planetarium. If you look closely, you'll be able to see a great big bear in the sky said the Duke. The royal baby prince couldn't believe his eyes. It looked a bit like his favourite teddy, Threadbear. Come on, called the royal baby's uncle. It's my favourite next, the London Eye. We'll be able to see the whole of London when we ride on it. Everyone piled into a capsule. It was brilliant. Look, said the royal baby's grandma. There's the shard and there's the girl king. When they got out, the royal baby's auntie said excitedly, Now it's time for my favourite thing, shopping! 
The big red bus stopped at all the famous stores in London. Harrods, Selfridges, Liberty, and best of all, Hamleys. Hamleys. It was the biggest toy shop the royal babies had ever seen. They had so much fun playing with all the toys, mostly. But then it was goodbye to the toys, and they chugged all the way back to Buckingham Palace for tea. Beep, beep. Did you have a good day? asked the royal baby's uncle. The royal baby prince and princess nodded enthusiastically. The baby's auntie asked, And did Fluffy Rabbit have a fun time too? I bet she did. Suddenly, royal baby prince burst into tears. Where was his toy dinosaur? It was missing. He can't go to bed without his toy dinosaur, fretted the duke. What are we going to do? Leave these to me, said the duchess, and she rushed off. Vroom, 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 all over everywhere, looking for the dinosaur, and got back just in time for bed. That night, everyone slept happily, especially Royal Baby Prince, Royal Baby Princess, Fluffy Rabbit and Dinosaur.